Hey guys, what's up? I'm Erin and welcome back to the channel. Interest rates are the highest we have seen in recent history, so why not take advantage of that? Why not park your cash in a place that's earning a decent return? Many places are offering rates that are at, near, or above 5%, so there's no reason not to take advantage of that. So I thought I would scour the internet to see the very best, highest paying CDs that I could find. Yes, CDs do have a lockup period, so any money you put in them is ideally money that you're not gonna need for whatever that term length of that CD is. Now, I went with CDs because they tend to have a higher interest rate than, say, a high-yield savings account. High-yield savings accounts are absolutely wonderful if you need a little more flexibility with your money, be able to access it whenever you want it. Go with a high-yield savings account. Right now, they're paying interest rates in the neighborhood of about 4%. Now, there's a few things worth mentioning about CDs before we dive in, and that is that there's actually quite a few different types of CDs out there. You have the traditional CD, which is probably what you think of when you think of CDs. It has an account minimum, it has a lockup period, and a penalty for early withdrawal. Then we have jumbo CDs. Now these CDs have high account minimums, like $75,000, $100,000, maybe higher. But in addition to these higher account minimums, they come with higher interest rates. Then you have a bump up CD. A bump up CD allows you to bump up your interest rate during the duration of the CD. Generally this bump up is allowed once, but some CDs offer more than one bump up. Generally these CDs have lower interest rates than say a traditional CD, but if interest rates do rise, having the ability to bump up to a newer, higher interest rate is a nice feature. Then we have callable CDs. So while a bump up CD may work in your favor, a callable CD works in the bank's favor. So if interest rates fall, the bank has the ability to call your CD or cash you out. If interest rates fall, they likely don't wanna keep paying you a higher interest rate. So make sure to read the fine print. Next, we have a no penalty CD. And no penalty CDs have no penalty if you decide to cash out your CD early. Traditional CDs do have a penalty, generally in the form of lost interest. No penalty CDs don't. But in exchange for this no penalty, they tend to offer lower interest rates than a traditional CD. But this is a really good option if you think this is money you might need before that CD hits its maturity date. And finally, we have add-on CDs. Add-on CDs allow you to add funds to an already existing CD. If you're in an environment where interest rates are falling, you might not wanna take new funds and open a new CD at a lower interest rate. So an add-on CD would allow you to take your additional funds and add it to an already existing CD. So the big takeaway here is make sure that you read the fine print. Know what type of CD you're opening. Now let's get to some of the highest paying CDs I was able to find. First one on the list is Charles Schwab, currently offering CDs with rates ranging from 4.89% to 5.3%. Those CDs with those lower lockup periods of say one to three months are on the lower end of that interest spectrum. And the CDs with over 5% rate, those are 10 to 18 months. And all the money that goes into these Charles Schwab CDs is fully FDIC insured up to $250,000. Now, depending on what you think interest rates are gonna do going forward in the near future, perhaps you use that to help you decide which type of CD you wanna take advantage of. If you think interest rates are gonna go up in the near future, maybe you decide to take advantage of a shorter term CD, say three months to six months. Then once that CD matures, you take those funds and roll it over into a newer, hopefully higher paying CD. But if you feel uncertain as to what's going to happen with these interest rates, maybe you're more than happy to grab a 5 plus percent rate of return and park your money into a 12 month CD. These interest rates tend to follow the moves of the Fed. As the Fed raises interest rates to combat inflation, the rates that banks offer their consumers will tend to follow suit. As it stands, current inflation is measuring above 6%, and the Fed's target inflation rate is 2%, so clearly they still have some work to do. While the Fed is starting to raise rates in smaller amounts, what's clear is the Fed isn't done raising rates yet. 
Most economists say the Fed will likely stop raising interest rates at some point in 2023. And once those rates stop increasing, you'll see the rates on CDs, money market accounts, high yield savings, and T-bills peak as well. Then once the Fed starts to lower interest rates, the interest rates offered on these accounts will also start to fall. So why not lock in a great rate when you have the opportunity? Thinking over the recent past, I can't think of another time where we've seen 5% on cash in the past decade or the past 15 years. I do want to show this selection of CDs from Capital One. While these rates are definitely in line with other CDs in the market right now, the more important item worth seeing is that many CDs currently being offered offer an interest rate that maxes out around the 11 to 12 month mark. Often that's where you're seeing those peak rates of about 5%. Once you get past that into the three or the five year CDs, often those rates start coming back down a bit. I think that speaks to the uncertainty of these future rates, and it is expected that they will come down in the future. Yes, this timeline is measured in years, but keep in mind that our economy is big. It takes a while to get inflation under control. But once they do, the Fed will start to reduce interest rates, and you can expect these rates to come back down. I found an 18-month CD with Great River Federal Credit Union offering a 5.12 APY. Some things to know about this account is that there's a $500 minimum balance and it's only available if at least 50% of the money being deposited is new money. So new money to the institution. So if you already have an account with this institution and you wanna roll that over into a new 18 month CD, you can't do that and get this rate. It has to be at least 50% new money. And I think this highlights a very important point. When it comes to banking, when it comes to money, when it comes to finance, read the fine print. Know and understand what is happening with your money and where you're putting it. And just like the other CDs on this list, there is an early withdrawal penalty in the form of lost interest if you decide to cash out this CD before it matures. This account is insured by the National Credit Union Association, the FDIC and the NCUA both insure deposits up to $250,000. And while there are minor differences, they function very similarly. The key thing to keep in mind is that traditionally the FDIC insures banks and the NCUA insures credit unions. The absolute highest paying CD I was able to find is a 24 month CD with Credit Human Federal Credit Union offering a 5.5% APY, which is pretty impressive. Minimum amount to open the account is $500, it's NCUA insured, and there are early withdrawal penalties. I also thought it might be worth mentioning that this credit union is also offering 10-year CDs with a 4.3% rate. But keep in mind that longer lockup period. If this is money that you think you might need in the next two years, this is probably not a good place for you. But if it's money you know you don't need in the next two years, it could be a great option. The absolute longest and highest paying CD I could find was with the University Federal Credit Union. They have a 48 month or a four year CD with an APY of 5%. Minimum amount to open the CD here is $1,000. The CDs are fully NCUA insured up to $250,000. There is no fee to have an account. And yes, if you decide to cash out your CD early, there is a penalty in the form of lost interest. Again, the intention with these longer term CDs is that this is money that you don't need to touch until the CD matures. So if you have money set aside for a specific reason, and for one reason or another, you don't want to invest it. You don't want it to be subject to market fluctuations. You want it to be safe and secure and know it's there when you need it this could be a great option. But also keep in mind, this has to be money that you don't really want to touch for the next four years. Finally, as for a shorter term CD, I found one with a 5% APY for a six month CD with Alliant Credit Union. Minimum amount to open a CD with this institution is $1,000. It is NCUA insured. And if you cash out early, there is an interest penalty. So whether you're looking for a safe place to stash your cash, whether it's just for a few months or a few years, there's no reason you shouldn't be earning 5% or near 5%. Interest rates are the highest we have seen in recent history. 
history. And keep in mind, while the institutions I mentioned here are offering great rates, there are many institutions out there that are offering great rates. It's always best to do your own research. Full disclosure, I found these institutions through simple research. I don't have any funds with any of the institutions listed in this video, so I figured that was worth noting. As I mentioned in previous videos, I'm currently taking advantage of T-bills offered through the federal government when it comes to having a higher interest place to park my cash. Also, please note that interest rates can and do fluctuate often, sometimes weekly, sometimes even daily. The interest rates presented here are accurate at the time of this filming. It's not until you open an account and sign on the dotted line that you can lock in a guaranteed interest rate. So where are you guys parking your cash? Are you using CDs, high yield savings, T-bills? Let me know in a comment down below. Are you gonna look into opening a CD? I'm very curious. I post new videos every single week. If you got anything at all out of this one, please give it a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Or if you know someone who might get something out of this type of content, please consider sharing. I'll see you soon. Bye.